Hey guys, this is Danny with Pwn CNC and I'm here with my long mill. Um, I've recently upgraded it to the super long board and I've got some exciting news. Now we, instead of using the PWM signal, we can now use the Modbus connection. I've figured out all of the settings and in this video I'll show you how to adjust your controller software and the VFD so that it functions properly. So uh, let's dig into it. Mm. jump into the programming I do want to mention one thing if you currently have one of our Pwn CNC spindle kits and are running the machine running this VFD off from the PWM signal and a digital converter we will not be using that cable or the converter we're actually going to be using the Modbus port on the side of the VFD this does require a an exchange of the cable so we're going to be reaching out to all of our, um, our CNC Labs uh, customers who have upgraded to the SLB, we're going to give you a free upgrade to the to the Modbus cable in exchange for your cable you have now. So if you have the PWM cable, reach out to us at support at pwncnc.com and we'll arrange a, an exchange of that cable for this new cable. So I've got two different versions here. The first one will actually be connecting into the inside connector of the SLB. Um, inside there, there's a special connector on there, and I'm not sure if you can see this correctly, but uh, let's see if I can get this uh, to zoom in. Essentially, we've got our screws across the top, and you'll notice the red wires over here and the black wires over here on those two right side, yeah, this side, um, <laughs> this side connectors. This, these are the two Modbus pins. Um, there's actually two, and on the other side that goes into the VFD, You'll notice it is a two pin GX12 connector. I'm not quite happy with that because it's not plug and play. So I'm gonna be working with my cable manufacturer to come up with a proper uh, solution for this. I've already tested it. So they do sell these special connectors here that turns your RJ11 connection into a Phoenix style screw in connection. I've already validated that it's the middle two wires and if the, uh, the RJ connection is up here, you'll notice that the, uh, that the red wire is over on this side and the black wire is on that side. Basically, it's just two wire connection. It's a two-way communication. It's sort of like a computer where you get this two-way communication that it's not just a fire and forget like the PWM is. It's actually a, hey, run at this speed and I will check in a second whether you're running at that speed. It's, it's a much better connection. It allows for more accurate RPMs and that sort of thing. So this one I'm going to be working on and I'm hoping to get this available as soon as possible. It may just be a simple connection. It may just be this little uh, converter here um, that I provide to all the customers who've made that exchange for this cable here. Basically they're the same wire, two pin wire. It's just one is, is wired into the Phoenix connection on the S inside of the SLB and this one has the RJ11 connection. So uh, yeah. Once you have the cable, once you have a cable in hand and you've got it wired up correctly, then we can jump into the programming and let's, let's do that now. So hopefully you're not, uh, you're not distracted too much by the aluminum carving I'm doing behind me. But um, in our VFD, the way you have it right now, and we will ship all of the SLB customers from now on with these settings already engaged. So if you bought this after we've released this video, don't worry about that. Um, this video is specifically for existing customers who are currently using the PWM and need to switch over to the, P to the Modbus. And this is after you've received your Modbus wire. So you're gonna hit the mode button and I kinda <laughs> reset the settings so I can set them correctly, but you're gonna to go to the, uh, use this double arrow to kind of scoot your cursor over to that first digit. We're gonna go up to three, so P0.0.03 .0 and hit enter. We're gonna change that to a two. Then this is the set next setting, P0.0.04, hit enter. We're gonna change that to a nine. This basically tells the VFD that you're now gonna take your commands from the Modbus port, not the PWM port. 
Next thing we need to go is uh, hit the double arrow to go to that first digit, change that to a two, and then switch back over and change it, the last one to a two. So P2.0.02 .02, and hit enter. We're gonna change that to a 21. So just hit the up arrow until it hits 21 and hit enter. Next, we're gonna to go to uh, four, one, zero, zero. So P4.1.00, hit enter. And we're gonna change that to a four. Hit enter. And the next one, this is actually what we need. P4.1.01, hit enter. And this one is gonna be changed to a three, hit enter. And that's it. Now let's switch over to G-Sender and set up the firmware. So in our G-Code uh, sent G-Sender, I've already connected to my machine and I need to go up to uh, firmware. Now, there's several settings we need to confirm. Now, we're gonna make sure we're on the SLB profile, which you should already be on that. If you've properly installed, uh, following the CNC Labs instructions for installing the SLB. Now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find the uh, Number 16, and we're gonna make sure that it's spindle enabled. Then we're gonna scroll down to 31, and we're gonna set the uh, minimum RPMs to 6,000. And the maximum RPMs on 30 is uh, 24,000. That should be set already. Then we go down, we're gonna go down a ways. We're actually gonna go down to 395. 395, we're gonna make sure that it's set on the mod VFD setting. Then scroll down to 462. It's this guy right here. 462 should be 40960. 463 should be 40961. 464 should be 36864. 465 should be one. 466 should be two, and 467 should be six. Uh, lastly, 468 should be 25. All of this has to do with how the machine, how the G sender is going to send which registry commands, where the location for actually writing to the VFD's memory is to initiate certain commands. Once you change those settings, hit apply, and then you can close down your firmware portion. Now, as for the wired portion of our installation, we're gonna take our two pin Modbus cable. The, you'll notice that this, this, we're gonna be using this first port way up here in the front. And eventually I'll come up with a cable that plugs into the front here. But for now, we're gonna plug inside on the board. This is our, the Phoenix connection. We're gonna use these first two ports. You'll notice the red wire goes on that inside screw. The black wire goes on the outside screw. Kind of run your wire right inside here so it sits in there nicely and then plug that in and we're all set. Just in case uh, we end up going with this solution, we will provide you with this little connector which plugs right into the RJ45 port and it's going to screw right into uh, this Phoenix terminal, provides a Phoenix terminal on the outside of the machine. Easy connection with the red wire on the right side and the black wire on the uh, left side and when you flip that over plug that right into the uh, adapter and now you've got your full connection you can run some tape or something just to kind of keep this connection nice and secure but otherwise that's how you plug it in from the outside pull up your console over here and we'll be able to test it so let me zoom out a little bit so in my console section of the screen i'm going to click console we're going to go down to the uh, enter g code commands here and for testing purposes, we're gonna enter M3S6000. You'll see after we hit the command, M3 6000, the VFD switches from um, blinking to solid and then spins up to our 6000 RPM speed. So this is excellent. We have solved our, uh, our connection issue. Now, if we change this to M, or we can enter in S12000, and we'll notice that it spins up to 12,000 RPMs. M10,000. S10,000. It'll drop down to 10,000 or literally within a few degree, a few points of it. M, or I'm sorry, S10,000. 
8,000. Drops down to 8,000. So we're all set. Hit M5. And now you've got complete accurate control over your RPMs through the Modbus connection on the side of our VFD. Hey guys, thank you for joining me and I hope you found that interesting and helpful. Um, we are always researching and improving our products and want to make sure that we bring you the best um, we possibly can. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or reach out to us at support at pwncnc.com and we're happy to help. Also, remember this is, I mentioned it earlier, this is for customers who have our spindle kit already. Um, these are not for ship spindle kits that are shipped after this date. If you've bought and specified you have the super long board on new orders, we will be pre-programming this and providing you with the correct cable. If you already have our spindle kit and have the PWM cable with the digital converter, reach out to us at support at and we're happy to exchange that for a uh, Modbus cable, which you'll be, you'll be very happy you did. But yeah, um, don't forget, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.